Good morning, everybody. My name is Vanessa Donovan. If you don't know who I am, my channel is called For Those That Are Struggling. And I wanted to jump on here and just share um, an awesome word that I received last night um, through um, Jacob Israel. He does YouTube videos, and um, I just really wanted to share this with you guys. You guys can take it with a grain of salt, or you guys can pray on it, look it up yourself. And um, But I just feel led to share this he did ask people to share his video and to tell people um he has made a lot of videos as far as what's going on in the world and he has looked up a lot of biblical meaning to names and just a lot of information um and it's all linked to you know being biblical and one thing that came to me last night was that, um, you know, God says there's nothing new under the sun. And everything that is happening today has already happened. And that's what he does is he links things that's already happened to what's actually going on today. So his video, I'm not really for sure what it's called, but I am going to link it in the comments um, section and... I hope you guys watch it. I will not do it justice, but I will explain briefly of what he is saying. So, um, and he also uh, talks about um, Chris Rock and how he got um, slapped by Will Smith. And the meaning of Chris's name means um, Christ. And there is a part in the Bible that talks about a rock and somebody striking that rock. And how Will's name it means strong man and his last name um, Smith means uh, blacksmith. And it just talks about how Will Smith striked um, or the, the strong man striked um, Christ. And it talks about how um, Jada Pinkett, um, you know, was wearing a green dress and how she shaved her head and how shaving your head means repentance in the Bible. And it is all in alignment biblically. So I want you guys to check out these videos that I'm going to link in the comments. And um, it just talks about the watchman on the wall. So I wanted to read a couple scriptures to you. And um, you guys can you know, pray on it, look it up, and, you know, see what you guys think. So, he's talking about the May 30th and the May 30th, um, 31st comment that's supposed to be coming. And it is, um, could be historical. And we could have a shower of comments, um, you know, lighting up the sky. More than likely, you know, they're saying that we're not going to be able to see it, but there is a chance. But it is definitely coming and that how our earth is coming across this comet and that it's definitely going to happen. And so he looked up the name of the comet and it's called, um, I think it's called, he said, Tal Hercules. And how, uh, I believe he was saying how Tal means um, alpha. And Hercules means, I could be wrong, but Omega, but I do know that he was saying how this, you know, it links to the watchman on the wall and how um, this is basically a sign of judgment and how this is Christ, um, the Alpha and the Omega, and he is coming with a sign saying, you know, I'm coming with judgment for those that aren't, haven't accepted Christ, for those that are doing evil in this world. And don't have goodness in their heart and they have a lot of hate or evil within them and how um, our um, and how the, the people that are of Christ will be sealed and you know it speaks about in revelations how his people will be sealed and how it says you know not to touch I'm gonna read this uh, Revelations chapter 7 verse 3. I'm sorry I keep looking over to the side because my son's outside and he's playing. I just want to make sure that he's uh, safe. So Revelations chapter 7 verse 3 saying do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. 
So, I wanted to go to the top of what I started with. The Watchman on the Wall, King James Version. Um, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17 through 19. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. We are part of Israel because we were um, grafted into, you know, as... Um, when we were saved, we were grafted in to, to be, you know, the Gentiles are grafted in with Israel, right? So, unto the house of Israel, therefore, hear the word of my mouth. I give them a warning from me. Uh, verse 33, 6. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take away any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Uh, King James Version. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that, that be done in the midst thereof. And then also Revelation 7 chapter 7 verse 3 saying do not harm the earth the sea or the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads so this is saying you know basically like I said you can check out his video but we are supposed to warn people that judgment is coming and that you need to um, repent of your sins you need to turn you need to turn to God you need to ask for forgiveness. You need to ask for healing. You need to ask to have a pure heart and be in love like Christ is. And if we do not warn people, then we then that bloodshed is on us. And how the tables are going to turn. You know, there's going to be judgment coming. And it says that um, we will not be harmed because we are sealed in, on the forehead, you know, because we have Christ in us. And so I want you guys to look into this yourself and if you feel this in your heart and you um, know that this is God's word and I want you to share it with others. Um, it is very, very awesome. And let me see, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say, but my little voice is like all over the yard right now. Um, sorry so my point is is that um, you know God does say that we need to be watchmen and if you see this if you hear this and you know this and then we are supposed to tell people and it is so awesome how um, everything has already happened and everything is happening again and how um, you know, Jacob Israel talks so much about the alignment biblically of what's happening today and how, um, you know, there were so many names changed in the Bible. Uh, Abra was um, changed to Abraham and I think her name was uh, Sarai and it, and it was changed to, uh, to Sarah. I could be wrong, but um, it's just so neat how... You know, when we are born into the world, we have a name, and that name was born into the flesh. And of, and you know, I told you our flesh is of the devil, right? So then, then we ha actually have a second name when we are reborn. And he was talking about how our second name is who we are, as far as um, just being saved. And for me, like my name Vanessa means butterfly, so that's my carnal name. But then my spiritual name would be, my last name's Donovan. So, and that is, means dark-haired uh, chieftain. And chieftain is a um, leader of a group of people or a clan. And to me, that's so awesome because I, you know, have Christ in me. So I do want to lead people and help people and guide people. I am a different person. You know, I am not the carnal. Yeah, our flesh is, but we, we try to die to our flesh daily. And so I just wanted, I'm just encouraging you guys to check out his videos, to look up the scriptures and, um, you know, 
you know, be ready. Maybe you can um, see the shower that's going to come May 30th, May 31st, and how um, I believe, yes, the comment means, um, and I could, I could be getting this a little confused, but like um, the Watchmen, um, the Alpha and the Omega, and how this is going to be God. He's given us a sign and judgment's coming. The tables are going to turn. He, and he talks about how the rich will be taken from the rich because they didn't do good. And how judgment's going to come and it's going to be given to the poor. So, um, this is just something to think about and, uh, you know, repent if you need to repent. Start seeking more if you need to seek. And, you know... Ask God to help you. Surrender your life to Him. Um, because He says, seek Him first, and all things will be added unto you. Get in alignment with His Word, and all things will be, be uh, given unto you. Wisdom, knowledge, not just materialistic, but in all. So, that's all I wanted to say for now. Um, I hope this helps somebody, guides somebody, and you guys just find... Um, just for me, it's good because I have surrendered my life even more um, than I have before because I'm walking his word, believing like with my doors closed, like I am walking his word. I'm believing in the unseen. So I hope this helps y'all and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye bye.